Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Jen Joy Plans. Today I have this plan with me featuring the Book Cafe kit from Sugar Pop Fizz. And if you don't already know, I am on the PR team, so you can use my code JEN20 to save 20% off. Or there is the Planner Collective sale coming up, and the shop will be 25% off the whole shop. And you can put my name in the notes for an extra freebie on top of all of the amazing other freebies that Mal, the shop owner, is offering if you're curious about that, you can check out my Instagram for more details, but this kit came out, I think, in the fall time, and it was something that was really cute, but I just didn't get a chance to use it, and I knew it wouldn't fit in my regular lineup, so I was really excited to pick it up for my second planner, and I was hoping to get it for February, but um, it was my bad. I didn't order it in time. So I'm kind of using it for the last uh, week of February going into March. So it's my tail end. So I guess it's kind of, I kind of got it for February. And I just thought the colors were so cute for this kit. It has the pinks, but just kind of more of the like mauve pink side. And then the black and the olive green are just so perfect. But anyways, for this week, I tried to include some planner stuff and some personal stuff. I am still trying to figure out my balance. And I've been trying to leave this planner on my nightstand to help hold me more accountable for my to-dos. And so far it's been working and I'm going to try it again this next week. So I'm just going back and seeing other um, plan with me's or other spreads to see which boxes I kind of like to lay where because even though I've used this format for this planner so many times I still question myself. This week I also decided to mark the TV shows that I am watching because once I don't have a uh, cable so I have to watch them on whatever platform after so it was good I marked it on what day it comes onto the platform. So I, you'll see in a minute, I marked three different kind of TV icons and it was to mark Joe Millionaire and the Love is Blind finale. And that was both on Friday. And then to mark, um, let's see, How I Met Your Father and Married at First Sight. So those are the shows that I'm currently watching, although Love is Blind is now over and that reunion was absolutely wild. I just finished watching the reunion um, this weekend. And wow, I like I started watching it while I was planning and I realized I needed to give my sole focus to it to just watch all the side conversations and the side and like facial expressions that were happening. It was just, it was a lot. It was great TV, but um very interesting. So if you watch that, let your girl know, I'm trying to not give any spoilers, but um, I'm curious. I'd love to chat. And they also gave like a preview for an upcoming show that Nick and Vanessa Lachey are also hosting. And it's because it's from like the same producers or same creators as Love is Blind. And um, it's basically about ultimatums. And it seems really wild and I don't under, I don't know. I guess there's so many of these dating types of shows that it makes sense that this is like a new idea, but I'm very curious to see how this show actually plays out because it seems, I don't know. I don't know what my thoughts are. I'm undecided yet, but you know, I'll be watching it because I love that kind of stuff. But if you haven't seen the preview for it, it's basically about I think five or six couples that one side one partner in the relationship has given the other partner an ultimatum and I'm gonna guess that most of them are like wedding ultimatums like I need a ring on my finger kind of thing or maybe one side wants to propose and the other wants to wait kind of deal that's what it made it seem like the ultimatums were but maybe it was other ultimatums and then they like go and basically like wife swap it and or girlfriend boyfriend swap it for three weeks which seems like a really long time but I guess if you're you're like really trying to figure it out um yeah and then they like live with that other person and try to figure out is their relationship the one that they came into the experiment with like 
was it worth fighting for? Are you willing to like give in to the ultimatum or change your ultimatum? Or do you see that the grass is greener on the other side, whether it's with the person you're with or just in general? So yeah, I probably did not do a good job explaining that and you probably don't care, but it's interesting. <laughs> and let me know if you will be watching it as well. It's on Netflix if you're curious, but anyways, back to the plan with me. That is the show. Those are the shows that I've been watching, but I kind of like talking about these shows because I don't feel like I've touched on them yet. How I Met Your Father is what I'm marking right here, and that is a very interesting show as well. I've never watched How I Met Your Mother, so I didn't have any like pre-assumptions about what the show would be like, but I love Hilary Duff because childhood icon, you know, um, <laughs> and I think the show's pretty funny. I'm interested to see like how it will turn out. I don't know. It's hard to like, like, I think I know, but I also could be completely wrong. Like, I don't know if it's the obvious or not, but for now it's a good show. And then Married at First Sight this season is like, meh, uh, I don't know. That's another show I feel like is <sighs> reality TV is such a hit or miss. And I know a lot of people go on it for the fame and I know, I don't know. And I just don't know if this show is turning into one of those shows that's becoming a little like wishwashy. but we, we shall see if you're watching also let me know, but I don't feel as invested into the couples as I typically do. And that was the same for love is blind this year as well. And for Bachelor, I stopped watching Bachelor because there, I mean, there's a lot of things that I just couldn't get into, but enough of that. The rest of this week, <laughs> I am kind of playing catch up on some plan with me's a little bit. So I posted some things out of order. I didn't post a spread um, or I didn't post a planner video this week or this past week featuring a spread in this planner because I did not um, use it for two weeks while I was on vacation and break and then I'm just kind of re getting back into it and then um I had some like general plan with me's to kind of catch up on so last week I posted my Cruella plan with me and the November SPC mystery that was like the plant mom mystery or plant mom kit which was really cute and then I did, um, on Sunday, I marked that I was going to post this plan with me, but I ended up posting my March monthly, which was a, uh, it's called Lucky Marshmallow Kit from Sugar Pop Fizz. And it's really cute, basically Lucky Charms, bright, bright, vibrant kit. And I love it. So, um, I decided to bring these back on Tuesdays, like kind of how I normally do. And that schedule is just what kind of helps me stay on track. And I needed to get back on that so I could manage, you know, which videos I posted and not posted. But this upcoming week, I will have a special additional video. And it's my weekly or my monthly roundup on um with Gabrielle of Gabrielle Plans where we talk about all the mysteries and I was kind of going back on YouTube and I feel like you know everybody has their own opinions but I don't know if I'm being too controversial on those videos <laughs> because I got some thumbs down on them and I I don't know if people are thumbsing them down because they don't like them or they don't like my opinions or they don't like I don't know and it was just kind of funny and fascinating I don't I don't really care, but um, it made me realize that, I, I don't know, maybe maybe those videos I shouldn't do, or maybe I'm being too outspoken. I don't think I was, but you never know. Opinion sharing is very, um, I guess, controversial just in general. So maybe if you have any thoughts about that, you can let me know. I won't be offended, or if you want to like DM me, but uh, yeah. <laughs> random thought about those I was just looking through and seeing that and I thought it was I, I mostly thought it was funny like I'm not offended but it was one of those kind of self-reflection of oh maybe people don't like these just in general or maybe they don't like my opinions which is fair that's why they're opinions um but that will be fun to have that extra video with Gabrielle go up <laughs> And then just to kind of wrap up some of these stickers that I'm 
put or like that I'm putting down on this bread. Uh, the little girls on the computers are from McPlans. The TVs to mark my TV shows are from Carly Plans. And then along with that hair appointment and popcorn on Saturday, both of those doodles are from Carly Plans as well. That little coffee cup that has like a cat in the foam art on Tuesday is from Sugar Pop Fizz. It's from an old sampler, but I think that coffee cup is super cute. Even though I don't like cats, I think the foam art is a funny idea. And then the little laptop on Friday is also from Sugar Pop Fizz. And... Oh, wait. No, that's... I don't know where that's from. These are all leftover stickers. I know the pizza is from Shop Jessica Hearts. That was also from a sampler. But that's pretty much it. I'm just trying to use the kit to the absolute fullest. The February-March scripts on the sidebar are from Plana Hannah. And that is pretty much it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye, everyone.